Happy Friday. Happy Friday. Happy payday. Oh, happy yeah. everything good day. I say happy pay your bills. Yeah, it's, it's just, it comes in and it, it just as fast as it comes in, it goes out. So. I like the sunshine, but we're going to start to see it soon. Yeah, this weekend. Keep your fingers crossed. No, it's going to oh, happen. No. It's going to happen. We got a little rain out there for you right now, though. Let's take a look at First Alert Live Radar. It is the only live radar in Connecticut. You can see some uh, bands of moisture pushing through the state. You notice a couple of snowflakes up in Norfolk, Colebrook, so uh, you might see a couple of flakes up there, but for the most part, we're doing we're doing wet. It's and the temperatures are all above the freezing mark, with the exception of that tiny little sliver of land, that little landscape up there in northwest Connecticut and northeast Connecticut. You might be seeing a little bit of mixing as the temperature there might be a little bit right around the freezing mark. So just exercise caution. Now, according to First Alert Futurecast, you'll notice it just kind of goes away, and we're expecting partly cloudy skies tonight. And then the clouds hang tough very early tomorrow morning, but you should wake up to some sunshine. And then we're going to call tomorrow partly to mostly sunny. Sunday, mostly sunny. Looks like a real good day. So you'll see those rain icons through 11 o'clock this morning and then mostly cloudy skies with temperatures topping out between about 43 and 44 degrees. Here's the uh, forecast. Isolated shower chance. We've got them out there for you right now. Saturday, brighter, finally. Finally, Ooh, it has happened to me day. right in front of my face. Oh, oh. Yeah. <laughs> and then Sunday, another sunny day and milder. So you can get out there this weekend and finally soak up some sun. My mother said the daffodils are already starting to pop up in her yard. Oh, gosh. It's a little early. Well, that tracks with what the groundhogs, Punxsutawney, and also Chuckles here in Connecticut saw. Absolutely. Well, or didn't see. They didn't see their shadow, which means An those daffodils early spring. are going to yeah, start coming start up. Start coming up, yeah. Every time you talk about sunshine, though, I keep thinking of that Leslie Gore song, Sunshine, Lollipops, <laughs> and you know? That's what's going to be playing in the background when we're all outside I wish I knew the again. lyrics to that song. It's a great song. <laughs> That's a good one. That is a good one. All right. All right, if you're out and about already, you may have seen a little more red than you're used to. Yeah. February's Heart Month, and the first Friday in February is meant to raise awareness about cardiovascular disease, the number one killer of women. The number one killer. It's really remarkable, Isn't that crazy? right? It's terrible. And that's why we're wearing that red. We're trying to bring that awareness. Heart attacks and strokes are obviously life or death emergencies, but some conditions like peripartum cardiomyopathy are rare and harder to detect. Now, that is a condition in which uh, your heart basically fails, and that happens at the end of pregnancy mm. or after delivery. And doctors say that women need to be aware of complications during pregnancy and always advocate for you advocate that is for your own health um, now peripartum cardiomyopathy is actually more common and deadly among black women some doctors think it could be genetic um, but you know pregnancy is a huge trauma and stressor on your body sure so, absolutely um, you know there are stress tests that women can go through because your heart's literally being strained in some ways you know you have this like life growing inside you and sucking all the energy out of you so it can grow absolutely it's a very crazy thing you know it's a crazy thing it's a crazy thing you got going on <laughs> it really is well not ne not anymore <laughs> but i did <laughs> but just you know always put your health first absolutely Show ladies put others, your health first encourage others get outside go walking you know and the typical things food. balanced diet quit smoking if you're smoking it's not a good thing yep. among females 20 years and older nearly 45 percent are living with some form of cardiac Cardiovascular disease. That's incredible. Yeah, and then less than 50% of women entering pregnancy here in this country have good heart health. Less than 50%. And that's this is a first world country, ladies and gentlemen. Mm -hmm. So we've got to do a little bit more. So that's why we're wearing red to bring awareness to mm -hmm. this uh, cause. And we hope you'll continue to wear red during the day today. Absolutely. And all month of February. Yes. It's women's heart health. And don't worry, I, we were getting some messages from viewers from men saying, well, it's an issue with men. It totally is. Totally we're just is. kind of trying to bring the awareness and campaign for women because unfortunately women don't always put themselves first. Absolutely. And we have a big consumer alert for you now. Oh, Quaker Oats, I almost said Ochre Oats, Quaker Oats, woo, is recalling more of their granola bars over possible salmonella contamination. Yeah, the company says it's Lama Rama bars are now being added to the recall. They were actually discontinued in September, but the last ones sold have best buy dates of either February 10th or 11th of this year. Quaker announced the first recall in December before deciding to include other products last month. So Ooh. if you've got these, bring them back 
or mm -hmm. throw them out. Chances are you don't have the receipt anymore if they were last sold in September. But if you got them in your closet, bring them back to your retailer. Yeah. I'm sure they'll be more than happy to give you a refund. Yeah, I've never seen that product before, Ford, yeah, to be either. completely honest. Um, but if you do have a Quaker Oats product and you're curious, you can actually scan the QR code oh. on the actual boxes to see if it's part of the recall. Because there are, as we've been mentioning, a few things like Fruity Fun variety of granola bars, chewy granola cereal, and uh, oatmeal squares, and Captain Crunch Instant and oatmeal Ooh. included. So not there's a lot of stuff that was included in these recalls. All right. Listen hmm. to this. Uh, that is a UConn professor tickling the ivories and also heading out to Los Angeles this weekend because he's nominated for a Grammy. Ooh, music com composition professor Kenneth Fuchs is up for Classical Producer of the Year for his piece called Cloudsland. Yeah, he has taught at UConn for 19 years, congratulations, <laughs> and is up for his second Grammy Award after winning his first back in 2019. But he's been nominated five times, which is really incredible, and Cloudsland is nearly an hour long and features 80 players. 80 players? That's what it says. That's a lot of people. Not like MIDI players, right? Like actual human beings? I guess so. That's incredible. I'm uh, guessing an orchestra must be part I'm of that. I'm thinking the same as you are. Wow. And I mean, to be nominated for that many times for a Grammy? That's so awesome. Oh, Congratulations to awesome, him. Awesome. So jealous. <laughs> and don't forget, you can catch the Grammys on Sunday right here on Channel 3, February 4th. It's coming up this there's, weekend. There's the music. There it is. The, I love that music. I know. Right? It makes you want to go like... It makes me want to go and all that jazz. <laughs> all right. No one likes to deal with...